of my favorite things about being an adult is having dogs. The only thing that comes along with that is the immense amount of guilt you feel from just doing people things without them. Hi, welcome to I Feel Guilty. As you can see, I've sat my dogs across the counter from me, June's kitchen style. They aren't cats, they're dogs, so I imagine this might present some problems at some point during this video. But for now, they're sitting across from me and crying. As you can see, Marbles is on the counter because he is too little to see over it. I want him to feel included. <laughs> Many of you have been requesting that I make them leisure suits and cook them their favorite meal. Well, I bought a piece of fabric that I'm gonna drape around them in a cape and I'm gonna to cook them some treats. So I feel like this is a happy medium. Kermit, why are you crying? The only one that really enjoys wearing clothes is Marble, so I don't want to torture them while I'm cooking for them. So I'm gonna make you a leisure cape. You hear that? A leisure cape. Do you think you can handle a cape, Kermit? Okay, these are scissors. You don't need to smell them. What do you think about like something like that? Is that nice? I, guys, they're putting their nose on the scissors. Hey, hey. Kermit. Hmm, you look like a tiny little magician. That feel good? What do you think? Who's hungry? Anybody? Who would like a piece of watermelon before we get cooking? Because the best part about cooking is eating something while you're cooking. Oh, oh. here you go, Marble. That's an awfully big piece. I'll put it on your cape. Will you bite it, please? Will you put it in your mouth, please? Thank you. Marble's is burying his. Peach dropped hers. Is it good? <laughs> is everyone feeling like their palates are getting warmed up? All you have to do is just sit down. June's cats can do this. Come on, guys. You, what happened to your leisure cape? We're spending time together. You guys get so upset when we have to like do people things and now we're finally having dog time and enjoying each other's company. So just sit and enjoy the show. Since I don't know how to actually like cook and think of things myself, I stole all of these recipes straight from Pinterest that I will link in the description so that you can steal them as well. This treat consists of one of Kermit's favorite things, which is coconut oil. I know that he likes it so much because whenever I use it on my body or my face, he won't leave me alone. It's disgusting. He won't stop licking me. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna liquefy it. You know what? How come you never see Rosanna Pancino just straight up struggle? I struggle with everything that I do. Sorry, Marble, I'm sorry. Would anyone like a pair of sunglasses? Maybe a glass of wine? All right, show daddy. Good boy, they look good on you. Is that helping you relax? You, you have to have the full leisure outfit, you know? They look really nice on you, bud. Yeah, that's a look. Peach, how many times am I gonna have to force you to leisure? <laughs> no, we're losing the little one. Oh my God. My ball, please. Just relax, Marble! We might have to lose Marble for part of the show. He doesn't seem to be enjoying himself. What, is this not entertaining to you? Marble, this is boiling hot oil. Do you understand what that means? And then I'm gonna put a couple of little blueberries in each one. So then, when they eat it, they also get a blueberry surprise. So we've lost one of our participants. He would not stop walking around the counter towards the piping hot oil because he wanted a hug. So the next treat that I thought I would make is something to keep their attention. So I found a recipe that I stole on Pinterest yet again of a no-bake sort of dog treat that I can feed to them relatively quickly. Carmit, what are you doing? Were you jealous of this the whole time? Is that what's going on? Peach is our only dog that actually is enjoying herself. Thank you, Peach. Your wonderful <laughs> little Goyo. We gonna need a third a cup of coconut oil, y'all's favorite. Do you want coconut oil? Is that what you want? Wow, finally, some appreciation. Two to three tablespoons of peanut butter. And this is a, a kind that does not have any xylitol in it, so they can eat it. You like peanut butter? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a gargoyle. <laughs> two and a half cups of rolled oats. Here's one. So, funny thing, I didn't read that whole thing. I was supposed to put all of that into a food processor. I made a mess. Now I've dirtied a dish that didn't need to be dirtied. So I'm just gonna take a little doggy sized ball and roll it in some coconut, Miss Weech. Doesn't that look nice? It's like the soundtrack of my life. We'll make a couple marble-sized balls, even though I doubt he's gonna eat any of this. 
Do you want a treat? Here you go, bud. Here, Miss Weech. Here. Oh! Kerm, are you happy? That's what I've been doing this whole time. Did you just figure that out? They like loved that. Kermit, you understand that I could just go to the store and buy you dog treats, but because I love you so much, I've chosen to use all of these things to make you something delicious because I love you. So as much as I wanna feed them another one, I'm also not trying to take a trip to a diarrhea city. All right, Marble, do you wanna try? Nothing's gonna get you, come here, look. Even Marble, the pickiest of eaters. Look good, here, let me break it up. Oh, very exciting. This treat is Marble approved, which means no matter what kind of dog you have, they will eat this because Marbles eats almost nothing in the world. Whoa. I tried to make some smaller ones so that I could feed it to them. Like if you had a bigger dog, this is probably fine, but I think that's a lot of coconut oil. It's just breaking them apart. You know what? Here, Kermit, here's a frozen piece of coconut oil and a blueberry. Oh, he went for the blueberry first. Miss Weech, would you like some? Kermit, you have one right in front of you still. Oh, Miss Weech. Kermit. Oh, blueberry, is it good? Here, why don't we break this apart? Here you go. Oh, that's fun, it's like hard, huh guys? Wow, 10 out of 10. Marble, would you like to try a little piece? It's coconut oil that tastes a little like blueberry that also is like in solid form. How exciting is that? I slaved over that for hours. What do you mean you're not gonna try it? No, you can, you can try it. It's really good, you'll like it. Here, are you not digging the temperature or the texture or what is it? Does it make you nervous? Are you scared? What's going on? Oh, does it taste like blueberry or coconut? Which one? Here, I'll drip it into your mouth. Here. Oh, he's enjoying himself. Come here. It's almost gone. It's almost sunk completely into my hand. And just like that, your treat evaporated into my skin. You snooze you with this mouth. I'll put these in the freezer and we can have them on a hot day. Are you gonna finish that blueberry? Please don't leave it on the counter, it's messy. See, I told you you were gonna have a good time. You just didn't believe me. Moving on to the last thing that I'm going to make for my dogs, which if they don't like, I'm gonna be really pissed. I'm gonna make like a traditional dog biscuit that has like banana and peanut butter. There's like a lot of different recipes of dog biscuits, but I think like peanut butter is something that they really enjoy like a lot along with coconut oil. So if we stay in that vein, I think we're gonna be good. This recipe that I stole from Pinterest is a half a banana, a cup of, we're gonna use coconut flour, a third a cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons of ground flax, and some almond milk, and that's it. And then we bake them. Should I like do something more entertaining? I'm sorry, it's not a Benihana, and I haven't lit anything on fire or squirt alcohol in your mouth from over here. Should I chop an egg into the air? I mean, to be fair, you didn't pay anything to be here, so what? Would you like half a banana? There you go. Don't do anything Aries with that. Oh, it's too late. Why are you crying? Do two tablespoons of ground flax, which I'm just gonna eyeball, because we're cooking for dogs, so who cares? <laughs> Yummy. What the? Mmm, dog biscuit. <laughs> Look, Kermit, it worked. I'm gonna make you tiny little doggy biscuits. Oh, Peachy's very excited. I guess you could just feed it to them raw like this. They're dogs. I mean, they could eat a whole pigeon raw if they felt like it. We've lost our audience. The dogs have left. You didn't want a leisure. You wanted to prowl the ground for treats, even though I'm making you treats. If you could just be patient, you'd have nice home cooked biscuits. Nobody cares about me or my efforts. All right. We have done a nice little assortment of shapes. We got some stars, some hearts, some butterflies. The dogs aren't gonna be able to tell because they can't fucking understand what that is. But hopefully they'll like these. I'm gonna put them in the oven. All in a day's work of love. Was it necessary? No, but I feel like it's a nice gesture that says, I'm sorry for being busy lately and not taking you to the dog park as much as you wanted. And I'm really sorry. That's what one of these little cookies says. Should I feed them to you on the ground or do you wanna try them up here? Oh, she wants to try it up here. Okay, Miss Weech, can you sit? Would you like star? Butterfly or heart? Oh, she wants a butterfly. I made them just a little bit undercooked so they're not as crunchy. <gasps> Miss Weech likes it. 
it. Oh, honey. That makes me so happy. Is it good? It's a little ridiculous to cook homemade dog treats, I feel like, when there's so many available that you could buy. But like, this was so nice. It was like, I was cooking for you and now you're just really happy and it's good ingredients, huh? You make my heart so happy. Okay, get off the counter. Let's try salmon. Try salmon tops. Can you sit? Good boy. Can I have a high five? You didn't even touch it. <gasps> high five. Thank you. Is that good? Oh my God. So far, everyone is enjoying the homemade dog treats. Now I feel guilty that it's taking me this long to do this. You're spiraling into guilt. I'm spiraling into guilt. Yeah, these aren't hard to make. I can make them for you anytime you want. Ew, you're drooling on me. They liked everything that I made. Now I feel bad. Why, why do you feel bad? That's a good thing. Because I've never done it before. But you did it now. I feel bad. Marbles is like 10. Hi. Would you like to try a cookie that I made for you, honey? It's very good. I hope you like it. I can eat some too. Even Marbles eating it. I should bake you guys something like every week. Oh, I'm such a terrible person. Uh, you did something good today. Why are you sad about it? I don't get it. I mean, I did not know that they were gonna like any of this. I thought this was gonna be like, a, I'm just trying to make something nice for them and they're not gonna appreciate it. But they really did. And they really liked everything that I made. Who's gonna give me a twirl? Good twirl. This like, it makes my heart feel like so warm and nice. Like when you do something for your dog and they like really like it and appreciate it. Ah, it's like I'm getting stabbed. It's just so nice and wonderful. Wow, he doesn't even know where he is and he liked that cookie. I will say I'm a little disappointed at their ability to leisure or for those of you that were hoping that they would leisure. We tried, they hated it, but they loved the food. So mission accomplished. This was really nice though. And I would say as someone that has had dogs for 10 years, I've never like baked them or made them homemade treats or biscuits or anything, this is like a really fun use of time. Like this was worth it. There are many things that I do in life that are not worth the time that I put into them. This is one of them. This was really nice and you guys really liked it. Okay, I don't know how many of these cookies you can have, but you're really cute and it's like special and fun so you can have another cookie. Speak! Good speak! Good weech! Crummy speak! Speak! Good boy! Marvel, you, you don't even know why you're doing it, do you? He forgot where he is again. It was a rough day for you, huh? You sat in a chair and you screamed the entire time, but we made it through, Kermit. We did. Someday I'm gonna mic you up and I'm gonna make a montage of you crying all day. What can I do for you? That was very nice, but what? Mm-hmm. Go on. Tell me about it. He, he's moved on from crying in front of my face to behind me so that I have to physically turn around to tend to him. Hello? Hello? Do you want to say goodbye? Maybe like a nice thank you, mom, for making me treats? No, we're just gonna scream some more? Okay, all right, sick. Well, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on a new video on Wednesday slash Thursday. Are you guys happy or what? Carmen is choking. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.